Hi, my dear Floss Tube friends, how have you been? This is Needle Ninja, welcome! And today we will be stitching on a long dog sampler pattern called Pandemic. So, here we go. I'm sorry about the background noise, those are the cicades which I told you about last time and they're going just crazy in the morning so yeah okay what should I say this is I'm still on a page six as you may see and I'm stitching on a 22 count hard anchor white color and I'm using the four colors I forgot to put this one does but this is three eight one two and now for all the geometrical stuff I'm using uh, number 3808 okay and this shouldn't go like that okay so how I start I, I start by uh, mm, waist, waist knot and I end my thread with a pin stitch as you may see here so waist knot and wherever I will go somewhere here and yeah happy stitching everyone so it's early in the morning as i said and sorry my voice voice is these are my first words in this day so my voice will be a little bit you know not clear so what can i say about this pattern this is, I've, I started this pattern almost exactly one year ago. Actually, that was the time when I started or becoming, when I become Needle Ninja. Yeah, this was one of the first, no, one of the first, this was the first new start as a Needle Ninja. So it's been uh, one year and a little one year and maybe a few weeks and I saw already so many beautiful finishes beautiful beautiful well I have still 15 pages to go so not gonna be finishing this really soon and somebody asked me how do I decide what I stitched on well actually what was the last one I was stitching how oh, I did the Disney thing and I was checking the Facebook and I just saw I think one of the most beautiful pandemic stitch and I will try to insert it here so yeah i just saw that one no i saw many 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 beautiful ones but this one just catched my eye because it's so different and same but different that's what it's cool about and actually stitching with the white thread on a light fabric you don't see your stitches or the, you don't see the pattern actually that much clear but that's that is what makes it beautiful I think that lace effect and that green beautiful 
color well just yeah I just saw it and I, I, I thought like I thought for a long time I didn't I think this year I didn't work on this pattern so it's already uh, July no it's already August <coughs> Sorry. and that was the moment I felt like I want to stitch again on this project so I don't have a time time schedule I don't have a plan how often I should stitch on any projects I just do what I like to do in that moment and when I feel like to change it I do it without the hesitation and that's when I really enjoy when I'm really enjoying the things I'm doing in the time so okay let me mark this line yeah and I'm sure you figure it out but this pattern I'm stitching mostly I'm stitching uh, again row by row and yeah I know I'm a half stitch girl so I like to do the first leg first and what's good about it it's that I'm checking the pattern while I'm going from left to right and then going back it's just you know covering the stitches without the you don't need to check your pattern so it's yeah it's easy for me and it's enjoyable and actually stitching with the one thread full crosses it's very unusual for me but i must say i really love this i love the i don't know the soft touch the single thread actually i i might find it that the single threads th single thread tangles even more than when I use uh, two threads I don't know why I think it's because I cut it really long so that's why every time it starts to do that like you know the little knots or stuck on the back of your fabric I just Maybe if I will get to that point, I will show you, but I found that while you're stitching with a long thread, this end will get, you know, like a little bit, little bit fluffy. And then that will do the problems with the knots. So I just cut like one centimeter like half a stitch half half inch of that end and I'm good to go again but looks like now we are not we are having a smooth ride I don't need to untangle or cut anything toy 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 fingers crossed I hope I didn't set too much and now I'll, it will start to go wrong So I have to be careful with this pattern because I'm working with a pattern keeper. I used to do a paper chart, but because pattern keeper doesn't have a, doesn't show the back stitches, I always have to have a, my paper chart next to me. But in this area, this is the page six, there are no back stitches, so I'm good to go. And I really, actually, I really like this page because, you know, it's a lot of stitches, but how do you say, the density of stitches and, uh, you know, the, all the patterns, it looks just so lovely. I 
I have uh, one more long dog samplers pattern which goes new normal but I must say like I I think really I lost the interest in these kind of you know long dog sampler like the samplers things I really enjoyed more uh, heaven and earth designs the full coverage pieces this this year i don't know why but now when i'm stitching this one it's actually fun and easy so maybe the next half of this year i can concentrate more on these projects but no like i've been stitching this for almost one week after I changed it from the Disney pattern and I really enjoyed it and uh, but anyway I'm really looking forward to <laughs> start my world travel travel bookshelf again so yeah after I think after I do this video that will be that for this pattern for this week and I'm really looking forward to do my beautiful color ones Can you hear those cicades? They're going crazy and all the windows are closed actually. Nothing is open. And gosh, they are ugly. You know, they are like this big. Maybe bigger. And they fly like crazy. And when they fly, basically they sit on the trees and do this that kind of noise. But if I if I walk next to that tree, all of them will be st stressed out and they will try to fly away. And when they fly, I'm sorry, they pee all over. So you have to be really careful. <laughs> And my son, he always forget what they do when they fly. So, yeah, he's their target, I think. And last time I was just sitting outside and <laughs> just one big, gross one bump into my head. Oh, oh I really don't like them. Okay, we did a roll. Let's mark it. Is everyone enjoying Olympics? I have a busy summer time in my job, so not so much, but I'm trying to check all the highlights, daily highlights after I come back. Yeah, they have extreme how do you say extreme heat the weather is crazy and the corona is crazy also the infected people counts just raising it was never that high here in Japan and they're a little bit panicking I think now the government is panicking. The people they looks like they are they are sick and tired of you know this being a second year of second summer of Corona. So, but yeah, the 
hospitals are getting full and well it doesn't look good by the way i'm going to have next week my second shot hopefully hopefully again but yeah i think it will happen so trying to don't think about mm, no just the positive thoughts yeah i even didn't took a holiday next day even a lot of people tells me that maybe i will get a fever or something but if i get a fever i will call and ask somebody to take my part but other than that um trying to push myself to, with the positive thoughts that i will not have a fever and i will go through with no problem so yeah or i could pretend that i had a fever and call them anyway so i can stitch <laughs> Ooh, what an idea Mm, looks like I made a mistake. I need to stitch these two. This is actually the, the line which you can see on my pattern keeper. That's the that's the line um, of the end of the page seven. So it's actually one stitch over the grid line.
going to stitch almost over the three 30 stitches so it's becoming difficult to check it on a pattern keeper maybe I should stitch just a small smaller parts but hmm, let's see how far I can go looks like I'm concentrating too much <laughs> I forgot to talk sorry I think I will just use this thread a little bit more and oh then I will end him One more line, can we go? So I didn't have any tangling or any trouble whatsoever, which is kind of, mm, well, surprising and scaring at the same time because it doesn't happen usually. So maybe I just use all of my luck. For today, so well, I should be careful. Okay, this thread is thread is getting really short, so definitely this will be the last. I'll be covering this last row with a full cross. together almost one a uh, ten ten rows almost that's cool um 
see this is what what will never happen with the fabric i'm using for a heaven and earth design project the, the hard anchor that's a good for a pin stitch but sometimes because it has only two oh i cannot say that you know i'm sure you know better much better what is her hard anchor so the needle can go you know between not in a right hole it's really easy to split the split the fabric in a wrong place oh and my thread is getting really short yeah and i i started to have some pain in my wrist you know this area i don't know no i i think i know why but really so hmm. must be careful but i saw a few stitchers having a like a protection gear how do you say that around the wrist and maybe it's because we use our hands so much but in my case it's not the, not that i know why well i did something so hmm, that's why it's in but it's a really painful okay guys we did these and now i will finish the thread but I have to be careful because this is not, of course, full coverage. So in order to have my uh, pin stitch covered, I have to find the uh, right spot. So let's say I will do a pin stitch on a grid line one, two, three, when there is definitely going to be stitched and I see that this is a vertical those are the vertical thread threads so I will do a vertical pin stitch in the middle Maybe I can cut this one, but well, let him hang for this time. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope to see you soon with another project. I'm sure it will be something heaven and earth. So have a beautiful day and happy stitching. Bye my dear friends.